Hi, my name is Logan Martin, and I'm the product specialist for Chaparral Boats, and welcome to the product tour of the 2023-21 SSI from Chaparral. With a length overall of 21 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 4 inches, and a passenger capacity of 12, this boat is sure to give you and your friends the ride of a lifetime. Let's go take a closer look at some of the features that makes this boat stand out. The bow of the 21 SSI outboard was built around comfort and accessibility. When we remove this center cushion, it gives us a large flat step covered in diamond pattern non-skid so we can access the foredeck which is covered in the same non-skid. The foredeck has stainless steel pull-up cleats, LED navigation lights, and flush mounted hardware on the anchor locker lid. When we open the lid, you can see it is a deep compartment built for a Danforth style anchor with keeper tabs to lock the anchor in place while you're underway. The bow features wraparound bolster cushions, stainless steel grab bars, and stainless steel draining cup holders on either side. I'm over six feet tall, and when I sit down in the bow of this boat, I can fully extend my legs and you'll notice that the bolsters come up to my chest, giving me a safe and comfortable ride. These bow rider seats can turn into one large sun pad with the optional bow filler cushion. When we remove the cushions to either side of the boat, you have access to your identical storage compartments that are under each one of the seats. This gives us a chance to talk more about our seat cushions themselves. Just like our largest OSX and SSX luxury models, the 21 SSI outboard uses the same Envision silicone upholstery. This upholstery is soft to the touch, yet it's extremely stain and sun damage resistant. Our seat cushions were constructed with a layer of thick, dense foam up top with a layer of flow foam underneath to help water drain out to prevent mildew and mold. All of our upholstery work is done with a French triple seam for aesthetics and longevity. The cockpit has a wraparound windshield on stainless steel supports, which was designed to protect you from the elements without restricting your vision. This walkway to the bow features a walkthrough windshield, which opens towards the port side, and a bow close-off door, which is mounted onto the starboard side console. This area is where you'll find your Bluetooth stereo head unit, and each console has an identical storage compartment built in. These storage doors are about 18 inches wide and have a rubber mat on the floor so you can safely store some of your larger items. The helm is built into a gel-coated fiberglass console with a vinyl brow up top to help reduce glare. This boat comes standard with digital engine gauges, and a popular option for this boat is our 7-inch Simrad touchscreen display. This display serves as a chart plotter, a fish finder, and can show you all the engine data you need. Below your screens, you have your steering wheel mounted on a hydraulic tilt base, on either side of the steering wheel are waterproof switches for controlling the other functions of the boat. And to the starboard side, you have a 12 volt charging port. Built into the gunnel is your throttle with an integrated armrest. Beneath that, you have a long storage cubby and built into the deck is a stainless steel draining cup holder. The port side has an identical gel coated fiberglass console with a hand stitched vinyl brow up top and a locking glove box built into the front. Beneath the glove box, you have a stainless steel grab handle, and to port, you have a stainless steel draining cup holder. The gunnel features the same integrated armrest, long storage cubby, and stainless steel cup holder as the starboard side did. The design of the cockpit pairs well with the slide and swivel bucket seats with flip-up bolsters. These bucket seats are standard for both the captain and co-captain, so you can keep an eye on the action or swivel your chair around to join conversations that are happening within the boat. Stepping back in the cockpit, we can take a look at the rest of the seating and out-of-sight storage options that this boat has to offer. 
This aft bench is over six feet wide and can easily seat three or four adults. This bench is complemented by the stainless steel grab handles on either side and the stainless steel draining cup holders that are installed in the deck. When we remove either one of these side cushions, it gives us a flat step covered in diamond pattern non-skid that you can use to easily get in and out of the boat. These steps are also lids, which open towards the outside of the boat and give you access to deep storage compartments with the port side housing your standard battery switch. Underneath the center cushion is a 70 quart insulated and overboard draining cooler. And in the center of the cockpit built into the deck, you have a large storage locker. The lid on this compartment is mounted on a gas assist strut to keep it open while you access the contents inside. This compartment measures over 18 inches wide and it extends towards the bow underneath the deck, making this a perfect spot for storing large items like fenders and water skis. Behind me is a large cushion sun pad that can be set up in a variety of configurations. By lifting these side cushions and propping them up, you have a lounge seat that can face either port or starboard. With these cushions up and out of the way, you have a clear walkway for getting in and out of the boat. Now this walkway has a lid, which gives you your bilge access. With one of these on either side, accessing your bilge and your battery tray is not a hassle. When we lift up on the center of the sun pad, gas assist struts keep the lid open, so we have yet another point to access our bilge and we have a large storage compartment that it measures over three feet both ways. With the hatch closed again, we can lock this center cushion upright so it becomes an aft-facing jump seat, which is great for preparing for water sports. And speaking of water sports, this boat has come with the optional velocity arch tower that you see here, or you can opt for a white powder coated ski tow frame, which mounts at the back of the boat near the engine. Back at the stern, you can see one of the other features that makes Chaparral boats truly unique. Like all of our other models, the 21 SSI outboard features our signature extended V-plane hull, which extends the running surface of the boat to give you better fuel efficiency more stability, and faster plane times. The boat I'm with today has a 200 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke engine, and this boat is rated to handle a maximum of 200 horsepower. This boat has an integrated swim platform, which is covered in diamond pattern non-skid, with this boat opting for the optional sea deck flooring. This swim platform features a step in between the engine and aft sun pad so you can safely cross from one side to the other. On your port side, you have your fuel fill and an optional transom stereo remote. On the starboard side, you have your standard stainless steel reentry ladder with an integrated grab handle. Covering this ladder is a lid mounted on tension hinges, keeping it out of the way so you can use both hands when using this ladder. This boat also has stainless steel pull-up cleats and a stainless steel rub rail which both come standard on this model. The 21 SSI outboard comes standard with a factory match trailer from Coyote Manufacturing. This trailer features a swing away tongue, disc brakes, submersible LED lighting, and trailer side guides. The standard trailer comes with a black powder coated finish, or for heavy salt water use, you can opt for the aluminum trailer and or aluminum wheels like you see on the boat that I'm with today. Thank you for coming with me on the product tour of the 2023-21 SSI from Chaparral. This is a smooth riding boat that was built to help families and friends create lasting memories out on the water. If you like this model and want some more information on it, or want to compare it to some of our other models, visit chaparralboats.com for more information, and I'll see you next time.